air warfare today, the jet plays a big part, but this kind of a jet has something to do with war at sea, after the war's over. At Folkestone, a bomb disposal squad finds water the best way to unearth anti-invasion mines laid there after Dunkirk. Because the cliff collapsed, some mines are buried 24 feet. Operations are supervised through a periscope and note the armor on the vehicles. One mile east of Folkestone Harbour, this site was for 60 years used as a refuse dump. Everything comes out in the wash, including the landmine he spotted. It doesn't take a staff sergeant and the Royal Engineers long to weigh up this grim looking object. There's quite a selection of detonators there and he needs them all. He has to handle a variety of mines buried among 50,000 square feet of cliff anti-personnel, anti-tank, anti-landing craft, even mines designed to bring down the whole cliff on the enemy. Usually, water and explosives don't mix, but here they're doing a job that's bang on. <laughs> 